Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. You can also become a member of my channel for uh, $2.99 per month. Do go check that out. Also want to welcome our newest members, Christine McCarthy, Sandy, Pauline Bienek, B-I-E-N-I-E-K. I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, thank you, you guys, for becoming members. Um, yeah, so we're going to get into your reading. Personal reading link is in the description box below. So let's get started here. Okay, you're starting off with the chaser. Now you had that over the weekend. So if any of that came true for you over the weekend reading, do let me know. Or maybe you had it yesterday. Did you have it yesterday? My days are blending. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship and healthy choices. Okay, so someone's chasing after you this week. Let's see, making you a priority. Let's take a look and see. Um, hold on one second, I just wanna put my stuff there, make sure we have enough light, okay. So, someone's fearful of losing you, Virgo. Fearful of you abandoning them. So they are, maybe their anxiety is high. Let's take a look and see. See what you have here queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy masculine or feminine um <clears throat> now this person oh yeah very codependent very deep in their emotions about you um <clears throat> if it, that sign doesn't resonate for you don't worry about it it's just the emotions of the queen of cups um with the empress in the reverse i feel like this person could be Libra. I feel like they are, yeah, not in a good way, like just very dependent or may come across as being dependent on you. They don't really, they don't, they're limited in their options is what I'm hearing, which, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see what else is coming up here for you. What's going on? Oh, there will be some communication from this person. They have, um, cute as it may sound some type of a crush they're quite smitten with you virgo so there'll be a lot of communication um i feel like this person gets excited when um thinking about messaging you or reaching out to you and i feel like they'll get excited about you responding to them okay and even with that queen of cups energy i do feel like this person's very deep feelings trying because the queen of cups is upright and the empress is reversed it feels like they're trying to not let their emotions out as far as being someone who is uh, like feeling insecure they don't want you to see that about them so they're kind of keeping a lid on those feelings okay and just trying to maybe maintain a, like a poker face or just try to maintain a sense of calm cool and collected but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really feel like that's not that. That's just the outer surface. It's just a bit of the mask. So you know, uh, why is this person chasing after Virgo? What is this dependence? Yeah, it could be limited resources or options um, going forward in the month of February. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, they could be extra available in the month of February. So, hmm, that's interesting. Extra available. Yeah, like 10 of wands in the reverse. Like they're on some kind of break. So they have um, extra time. They have a lot of time to be chasing after you. That's interesting. Um, they got some freedom. That's what I feel like. They have some freedom some free free time so you're going to hear from this person a lot okay um let's see they might be not working oh queen of swords in the reverse what the heck um <laughs> why is that there um uh, okay, so they're just saying there's there's a queen of it could be a queen of swords as well, it could be a uh, masculine or feminine air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person, it feels like 
hold on, I'm getting some weird vibes. Let me see if I can try to, because at first it was feeling like this person is, oh, it's like a rigidity, like they're not going to let up. That's how I feel, like very rigid, um, routine, very like almost, there's an, there's an element of coldness where like you, I almost feel like if, if you don't respond, <laughs> Like, you better be available, Virgo. That's what I'm hearing. You better be available on this, because this, they're available. So you better be available. That's what I'm hearing um, from them. If you don't respond or if you don't give them that, that time of day because they're chasing after you, because now they have free time, they're going to, and you don't answer. They, like, have this fear of, fear of abandonment. They might give you a hard time, <clears throat> too, if you're not responding. Like, it's almost like a dictatorship because Queen of Swords in the reverse is an energy of someone who's, like, pretty commanding. You know? Like, really, like, rigid. Like, routine. Like, you better... Or I'm not coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What the heck? For some of you, there is some kind of um, separation. Remember when I was saying limited resources or limited options? There might have been somebody and that person is not an option anymore. Okay, look, I, I'm not saying that's all rainbows and unicorns. Believe me, I'm not. But I feel like maybe there's a divorce or a breakup with the Ten of Cups reversed from someone else. Okay, um, maybe some trouble in home or this person's like, you know, on their own, which is what I feel like is going on here. So, yeah, this energy is definitely playing out this week. Couple more cards. Mm, they're not offering, they're not given to something. To So, whether it is a person, place, or a thing, another person, another place, or another thing, this month, I feel like this person is, I'm hearing, finally learning the lesson or learning from the past. Um, this person's returning. So for some of you, this might be somebody you already know, or you might meet them new and find out that, you know, they, like if you meet them and they're new and it's kind of like, okay, well, what, you know, what was your, did you have a past situation? Like what happened? And they'll tell you that they made a mistake with someone else and they freed themselves up for a new relationship. Um, they're freeing themselves up for dating, but they're very, I feel like anxiously eager to secure another relationship you know they're they're very dependent okay um and even with the knight of pentacles that just gives me a vibe that this person is like they're not going out of their way to make something work but they're more or less like i gotta have somebody and it's you you know um and and it's 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 just like they're not in a rush but yet I feel, it feels like if, if you respond and you're like, okay, and you want to go forward with this person, um, they're eager that way. But then once they know that you're in, it's like, okay, now, you know, I just want to be settled in, with somebody. It, it's not necessarily put in the work, but it's not like they're not going to rush. They just, it's like, they're just, you know, like when you're out fishing and you catch a, you sit sitting waiting all day, you're patient waiting all day, you're doing that, putting in the effort and then you catch a fish and then you, you're like, okay, now I can relax. I caught a fish. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting, you know? Yeah. So for some of you, this is a brand new love or this is a new recommitment to love happening. All right. Let me see messages of love for Virgo in regards to this connection what does Virgo oh a bunch of cards fell okay abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now and firm batteries are needed now okay strong message there Virgo you're going to need to put up some firm boundaries because I feel like this person is going to be a bit commanding or demanding in a sense that you be available because they're available right so once you meet them you know, as somebody, a new person, like a new love energy coming in, um, this person wants you to match their energy. And if you're that Virgo, that's like, you want to text all the time, you want to talk all the time, you want to be together all the time and all that, then you might be like, oh, okay, this works for me. Now, some of you might be like, oh no, I don't ride up that roller coaster until, because it's going to come back down again. So some of you might just be maintaining this pace while this person is, is very like, 
I, I don't know if it's pushy. It could be a little bit pushy with that Queen of Swords in the reverse. Kind of bossy, kind of rigid. Like, you know, you better fall in line. <laughs> some Virgos are very submissive and some are just like, that's not happening. So it really just depends on your placements and, you know, who you are personally. Okay. All right. So for some of you, this is a friendship that is actually leading to more, to a deeper, well, a romantic. I don't necessarily feel deeper, but it's, it's, there's a new spark happening. Okay. And then you have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, that you better do as I say, Virgo. And I don't find that to be, I don't know. Maybe you're that Virgo. That's like, absolutely. <laughs> But maybe you're not. I don't know. But that's what I'm picking up. Um, let's see if we can get a Chinese sign for this. You and this person. And if you already know them, it's just you. Maybe you're just friends and now something is coming back around. <clears throat> or some of you might have just said, no, we'll just be friends. And now it's, no, 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 no. I want to be with you, Virgo. I need you. I need you. Okay, so year of the rabbit, year of the ox, year of the goat, year of the ox again, year of the rooster, one, two, three, four, okay, year of the pig, year of the monkey, year of the tiger, and we have rabbit again, and we have goat again, and dog so that could be you it could be them it could be both of you just take it as it resonates let's see if we can get some initials and some numbers okay someone's born in april so it could be an aries could be a taurus um we have august 23rd august 27th 1983 someone's name uh, might be diane or diana um or d um or the letter I, which could be like Ian or Ivanka, <laughs> Irene, it could be an Eileen with an I, uh, er, er, Erman, Erman I just heard, okay, letter K, Kai, Ki, um, we have someone who's 38, someone's born in 68, someone's born in 79, someone's born in 76, the letter A. So uh, I just heard David and I'm hearing Akia, Aki, A-K-I or something like that. Um, CAD, K-A-D, I don't know what that means, CAD. Um, okay. Addie, Adele, Abby. Okay, picking that up. Let's see if I get a charm for you guys. Oh, that's cute. Oh, you know what? That's weird. It's amazing as soon as I looked at this. So, you do have a star, okay? But Im immediately, as soon as I looked at this, I, I felt like a Christmas cookie. Like a star Christmas. And I know that nobody's making Christmas cookies right now. But something to do with a Christmas cookie. I'm not exactly sure what that could be. I'm sure somebody's got a story of some sort. Yeah, something to do with a Christmas cookie. But it's star-shaped, you know. It's like a star. You know how people make those star-shaped Christmas cookies. And they put little decorations on top. I don't know. I'm just feeling that real strong. Which is odd because it, it's it's not a Christmas cookie, <laughs> so to speak. But it does have like little metal pellets on it. So, hmm. Well, I'm going to leave that one there for you. And let's move on to the next story. We've got not enough. Okay. So, someone's frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> So this chaser, definitely the chaser could be lacking confidence, has a lot of fear. Remember there was abandonment issues, maybe some jealousy, they don't feel good enough. Oh, okay. Two of cups reversed. Wow. 
That's a breakup separation. They might have gone, somebody might have gone through something. <clears throat> Could have been with you. There might have been a breakup. And this person's tremendously restless if there was a breakup. Okay. Um, uh, it could have been with you. It could have been with somebody else. But even with that four of swords in the reverse, it's pure, the, it, the person is just, they're not at peace. They're, they're, they have a lot of anxiety, but they're ready to act. And that could be this person, okay? Ready to act towards you, okay? This person, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um... This person wants you to be uh, greedy for them. <laughs> okay. Hmm. They don't have a lot of faith that some relationship of some sort, whether it's you meet them new or you're already dealing with this. They don't have a lot of faith that this is going to work out for some reason. The, um, I feel like this person wants you to I don't I feel like they don't want they don't want to have a breakup with you they don't want you they want you to be like super super like excited about them and and like always want to talk to them and that kind of thing which is odd um but it comes from their anxiety they they kind of picture like if you were if you are always reaching out and searching for them and chasing them in return then to them that makes them feel like or they think that that is then you must want them right and i mean to some extent yeah you want to be reciprocal if someone's being that way with you but it's a, you can't go to like extremes right you can't go to extremes uh, let me see wow all my cards are showing up in the reverse the emperor in the reverse okay you got an arc on your hands someone's very narcissistic or at least if they're not that aries energy um in the reverse temper tantrum expect to have their own way a bit immature is what i'm going to tell you um just maybe even like an like just a big ego as well okay why isn't virgo like chasing me like i'm chasing them okay there's a bit of like in, in immaturity showing up here this person doesn't seem to be you know just kind of mature <laughs> i mean I what else to say let me just get a couple more cards here see what's going on with this emperor okay all right all right definitely you could be dealing with someone who's just very all about themselves so keep that like that's why they don't feel like enough it's crazy right because that would be like an oxymoron like someone who's always about themselves would you would think they would always think that they were good enough but it's because they are don't think that they're good enough that they think that they are does that make any sense? Uh, hopefully. Um, it's the insecurity. It's like a false sense of self going on with this person. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if it's related to that. It could be. That chaser energy. Um, but even with the five of wands in the reverse, this just kind of gives me a sense that this person is trying to resolve the problem that they have within themselves um, of being in of being insecure or not feeling good enough by if they know that you are more into them then that kind of fulfills fills up their ego hole i guess to say their ego hole <laughs> okay yeah even the six of wands in the reverse it's, it's just all it's the same they, they lack the confidence they come across as an emperor but they lack this this actual confidence within them you know and for some it's not a narc it's just someone who's like super super insecure and they they never feel good enough and it's like no matter how much no matter how many jars of good beautiful sparkles you pour into that hole of emptiness it just comes out the other end like it's a never it's an it's a unfulfilled prophecy with this person until they start accepting themselves and just saying hey wait i am good enough until they seal up that hole and fill themselves up with those beautiful sparkles this person um they they kind of try to it looks like everybody around them that has good sparkles gives them good sparkles they can't create their own that's what i'm saying what's going on with the sparkles <laughs> all right let me see what else is going on 
King of Cups in the reverse, okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Page of Cups in the reverse, yeah, all reversals here, and the Six of Swords. So the King of Cups in the reverse is pretty much like a, emotional a manipulator. Even the Page of Cups in the reverse as well is just someone who's very um, immature in their communication. Um, and with the Six of Swords in the reverse, this is basically just someone who's unable, like they 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 they're stuck you know what i mean they're unable to like take a risk here very low on the confidence level this person is just really low on the confidence level they can't seem to everybody else has to be like um uh structured around them and then they feel structured if everyone around them is structured and like a safe uh like a like um like a safe place everyone around them then they feel safe but if all their safe places are gone and they're not tethered or grounded then they're a mess does that make sense so i mean i don't know why what does this have to do with you virgo because i feel like this person needs your energy is that like a vampire energy vampire or something i feel like this person it's sad because it's really hard, but it's really important to gain that self-esteem and self-confidence. You know, it's really, really important. You, like, you, you have to be your own lighthouse in the world, you know? It can't depend on other people to provide all of your safety. You have to rely on yourself because people make mistakes. People are not, you know, people are fallible. Fallible, fallible. People... It's just human nature like and regarding yourself making yourself your own safety net it's like either god or spirit or just within you to rely on you know having faith and i feel like this person they rely on you okay um and especially if this is someone new with the ace of cups over there that's something you need to pay attention to going forward no one can be everybody's light lighthouse you know what i mean that's kind of how I feel with this energy. And it doesn't mean to say, so, uh, you know, it, when we say this should resonate, it re should only resonate if, if this is happening to you or if you meet, you come across this energy and it starts happening to you. Don't put the energy on someone. Let that energy come to you and be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, this person is passive. They're so passive to the point well, they've been stuck before and they haven't really, they kind of, I, I almost want to say they've been stuck in their um, lack, lack of faith. Uh, Virgo, all I can tell you is about you. I mean, you bring faith to this person. So, you know, perhaps all the good you do will rub off on them. And hopefully this person will be able to take some of that and actually fill themselves up and let it stay you know um so that they have so that they start coming from a place of of wholeness i don't feel like this person feels whole and they won't feel whole without you um but hopefully like even with the hanged man this is kind of getting a different perspective and saying you know what you might teach this person that or you you might just that energy might rub off on you even with the six of pentacles in the reverse i'm sorry the five because that's an energy of being like <clears throat> that's like recovery like getting hope returns and seeing things from a different perspective <coughs> excuse me and even with the hanged man in reverse like that's a very spiritual card for me um it's a very faith-based card for me Excuse me, you don't have to be a religious person. You could be agnostic or believe in something greater than yourself. This person, if, if I always say, if you're not believing in a power greater than yourself, then, then you're making yourself the power. And I'm not a big fan of that idea, although I get it, why people do it. Um, but I, I think having a sense of humility can really restore our faith. If that makes any sense, maybe it doesn't. I don't know with you guys, but... Let me see. I just want to get... I'm going to pull two Chinese suns here. Okay. Year of the monkey. And year of the rat. Okay.
Okay, that might be you. Could be your person. Could be neither of you. Don't sweat it. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, that fell. So someone is 58. We have the letter T, August 31st. They're giving me a uh, Taurus. You could be connecting with a Taurus. Another zodiac sign, a Libra. Okay, someone's born in January, and we do have, oh, 52 or 53, age or year. Okay, I just want to get one more. Give me a September birthday. September 7th, okay? So if your birthday is September 7th, this could be for you. You also have two hearts here. So, um, the, what is happening? Dropping stuff. So you've got two hearts, two intertwined hearts. So this could be like a twin flame thing that's very difficult to deal with. Um, it doesn't feel like a soulmate. It feels more like um, like, a, like the difficult twin flame kind of relationship, you know? Because um, the reason I say that, and not that I need to exp explain myself, but when I turn the hearts upside down, they look like flames that are intertwined. So I do kind of feel like th that energy is playing out where one hasn't risen exactly yet and i'm not telling you to, to be a martyr i'm not telling you to take on projects and people i'm not just be who you are let your glow shine don't ever subdue it because someone doesn't feel good about themselves you know you don't want to lower yourself to make someone feel better about themselves you you can give off the good energy and the good vibes and and that tends to help people want to kind of be better be better people or be a better person you know um, lowering yourself to meet them does not help them so if you're truly that virgo that wants to help someone whether it's a friend or family member a twin flame lover whatever stay who stay the core of who you are be true to yourself that's the strongest message i have there okay and here leading right into that is healthy choices Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. And I wish they would put self-acceptance in there because I feel like that is just as important. Um, self-love is better when we accept who we are. We have self-acceptance. So let's take a look. I feel like this is going to be about you, Virgo. I feel like this is, and I just saw the King of Pentacles in the reverse, which would definitely be an energy of... Um, beginning to follow through on healthy choices in your life doing some follow through sticking to something okay you've got the three of pentacles in the reverse virgo so some of you have decided i'm not dealing with the drama and office politics or gossip or any bs um some of you are you just you're out there on your own you're, you're not so i feel like a lot of you virgos have already learned the lesson you've already graduated right and if you feel like you haven't you know the thing about self-love and growth and learning is nobody's really going to there isn't a tier that you're going to get to and somebody's just going to come down and, and hand you your graduation certificate you have to give it to yourself right <laughs> i think it's always good to be in a position of always learning, you know, but sometimes you need to like set your tier and just be like, you know what, I've passed this. I don't need to keep learning this lesson over and over again. I can give myself my own little grad party and celebrate myself because I've passed this tier. I don't need to stay in this, um, this section of the self, the learning um, and the growth. I've, I've, I've surpassed that. So if you haven't given yourself a little grad party, <laughs> you need to do that for the things that you've accomplished. And you need to pat yourself on the back. If you have if you look back and you're like, you know what? I, I did things a bit differently here. I've learned. Because this is the card about learning and mentorship. Maybe even going, maybe you had counseling or you did something. Okay, well, you know, th that portion you've mastered I feel like that's going to show up. You've mastered that part and you can master that and you don't have to stay in this. Well, I don't know. I'm still in school or I'm still learning. You know, um, that's great. You've mastered. Oh, look, that's what you've that's what you've learned. OK, from the devil energy, which is bleh. this is uh, you've, you've changed behaviors. OK, you might have been super judgmental. 
um, in your past. Maybe you have a past of being reckless in relationships um, or um, a past of toxic relationships. It looks like you're building this relationship with yourself now, like you've gone on to the next step, the next level. We have Capricorn, Scorpio energy with judgment, um, even judgment in reverse. I mean, having judgment is, is good. Uh, having the card here is good. You might have made an error in judgment in the past in a relationship with someone, or you um, were trying to learn about somebody, but it turned out that all they seemed to want was the nasty fun part of you and they didn't want to, or they were judgmental or they were rude um some of you have graduated away from that relationship and um or at least gotten out of denial in regards to something that was very toxic right so that's what the healthy choices is uh, some of you stayed and held on way too long or some of you kept going back because it felt like unfinished business or unfinished lessons okay um and just a lot of delays and problems and i feel like this is this is what you are coming to this point here especially in february where it's like you know lesson learned lesson learned okay you're graduating i, I hope you guys if, if you feel like you have made some major changes or you've been through it and you know you got the, the bad end of the stick um, don't cry me a river. Don't cry me a river. Don't sit in your murky sadness forever. Give yourself enough time to accept the defeat or the loss. Okay, because even the best winners have to have losses in order to get to be a winner. So don't sit there. Just move on. Okay, because look, there's light when the darkness clears. Right? And I'm not telling anybody to grieve and I'm not, not to grieve and I'm not telling you how long you should grieve. Um, because I think it just depends. It's different for everybody. But I think that if you get to the end of your life and you're still in grief to the point where you couldn't be happy, I, then I, my heart will just go out for, to you. Not that I would know you then or that you're at the end of your life, but I feel like spirit wants you to be happy and wants you to be joyous and free. And you're you're right to have that in your life. You're right to make these healthy choices and you're right to live a good life. You know, you can always turn things around and if stuff didn't work out before, it doesn't mean you can't make it work out going forward. So you're never too late to set your standards. If you made some bad decisions, if you made an error in judgment in some past relationships or uh, just whatever relationships, how, however they went, romantic or um platonic whatever it's there's it's never too late to turn a new leaf and that's what i feel like the message here learn from it don't let it bog you down learn from it so making those healthy choices some of you thinking about planting some new seeds definitely um you're thinking about it right now right you might be thinking about it and so when i say planting new seeds it's just maybe ideas thinking about oh or looking at your visions and saying oh i can maybe i can do this maybe i can do that or it's it's with the page of pentacles it feels mostly like holding holding up your dreams in front of you and really taking a look at your ideas and your plans and your visions and your dreams some of you are getting to that point if you haven't already that you're ready to begin new growth but you might have to just wait maybe you are still going through a grieving process of some sort you could be at the tail end of it okay but eventually you're going to open up eventually you will okay because this is all about vulnerability you might feel like uh you know you're starting fresh you know you're starting at the very bottom you know, and, and you've got nothing to show for it, right? You might feel that way. It may not be true, but it might be true. But you, you may feel like, oh, well, here I go again. <laughs> What's that old white snake song? Here I go again on my own. I forget all the words, but I knew them back then when I was moshing in the pit. <laughs> I swear, I did it like maybe two or three times in the 80s. 
I was in the mosh pit for sure. Um, so I was like a teenager. <laughs> anyway, um, there's definitely this opening up and, it, and it's a slow, you're like a slow blooming flower, you know, it's just taking time, but it, when it blooms, it's so beautiful, so gorgeous, so amazing. So be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself, make those healthy choices intentionally each day and it's just make it just do one if you can't do five or six you know if you got off the horse from your you were riding towards your resolutions and you slipped lesson learned get back up on the horse don't sit there too long like kicking yourself because the horse is running away you need to go catch him right so get back up on the horse when you're ready of course of course, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. All right, one, two more messages for you, Virgo. Courage, strength, stamina, and movement. This is beautiful. Leo energy here. Okay, so this, listen, as soon as you get your courage, as soon as you get your strength, as soon as you feel like you've got your, you got enough vitamins, as soon as you have enough energy, this the strength somebody might even be starting a strength training routine maybe you we're doing it and you're like eh. maybe you got hurt okay maybe you did too much maybe you weren't listening maybe now you weren't practicing your form and now you have to be like okay i gotta start over and i gotta do it the right way this time whatever the issue is whatever the situation is maybe you went off your diet maybe you lost your strength you know, that chocolate cake got served and you were just like, all right, one little piece. And then the next day it turned to two pieces. And then the next day it turned to three. And then you're, you know, back to the old ways. Whatever the situation is, I feel like the strongest message here for you, Virgo, don't stay down too long. Just get right back up on the horse. You didn't lose nothing. Okay. I always say, and I believe this to be true, the path to success is never a straight line. It's always three steps forward, two steps back. And if you go in knowing that and learn from your mistakes, then you will get further and reach your end goal or get to the place that you want to be, right? You can't forget perfection. I know, Virgo, you want to perfect everything. And that's tough to live up to, really. That's really hard to live up to. Or you want the perfect person. Or you want the perfect relationship. You want the perfect house. The perfect this. The perfect that. I mean, you can have whatever you want, Virgo. If it needs to be perfect, that's fine. Maybe focus on just keeping your desk perfectly clean. And let everything else just kind of come about the way it needs to. Weird message today. Weird message. Um, all right. I do want to get some messages of love here. You know, even the Knight of Wands in the reverse is a reckless energy. It's off the beaten course. Because the Knight of Wands in the upright, even though it's a very lusty card, it charges forward. Okay? You might have charged forward and got thrown off the horse. Right? Um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is, is chaotic. You know? It's excess. And it's impulsive. Think before you speak. Think before you act. Oh, well, you've got Twin Flame. Hmm, okay. And we were talking about the Twin Flame here, remember? So this might have something to do with the Twin Flame. Hmm, okay. But look, you've got self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Well, you know, the healthy choice is self-care. I feel like that's really important. Maybe you're your own twin flame, Virgo, and you're up against, maybe you're in a karmic relationship with your own twin flame self. Lessons, lessons, lessons. For some of you, you never know, right? It could be. Um, or it could be another person that just had put you sideways. You f flew off the horse and you forgot about yourself. And sometimes that happens. You ever see people in relationships, they get together, everything's great, and then after a while, like, they get fat. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> they stop taking care of themselves. They, they kind of get, like, indulging in the relationship, and they're not keeping themselves healthy and, and good. It happens. It's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not, I don't mean to say, like, they gain weight is what I'm saying. Um, 
sometimes that happens to people, you know, and then after a while they're like, oh, God, I feel terrible, and, you know. Um, anyway, self-care seems to be your, your biggest message here for you, Virgo, and I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to pull any Chinese signs with that, but I am going to look at some numbers and names. Okay, so the letter Q. Um, oh, AI, okay, artificial intelligence. Um Somebody drives a Kia, right? That's a car, right? Kia. Uh, September 13th. All right, what else? We got a few left here. Let us, oh no, we have a whole bunch. Let's see what comes out. Letter C, we have Scorpio. September 8th, someone is 34. Um, I'm hearing the name Eric. We have the letter O, the letter E. Someone's in a rush. I heard someone's quick, quick. Maybe some your last name might be quick. I went to school with a girl named Quick, Kelly Quick. That was her name. And every time I looked at her and talked to her, like I heard her name called in school, I always thought of like Nestle's Quick. She always reminded me of like chocolate powder. <laughs> I have issues. I know it. You don't need to remind me. I'm aware. I have a very quirky brain <laughs> okay all right we've got todd i'm just hearing the name todd um uh someone is okay either 66 or born in 66 and somebody is did i say september 6th i'm picking that up someone's also born in 84 i have area code 810 someone is in ottawa i just heard ottawa uh, 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 uh. Kate, but it's C A I T or like Caitlin C E A C A I T, Caitlin. Okay, and someone is forty-one. All right, let's get a charm. I think I missed something. Aisha, I just heard Aisha. Oh, I got that damn cookie star again. That's weird. That's twice. Look, you guys. It's over here. There's the Christmas cookie star. Yet again. Can you see it? And here it is again. Hmm. Oh. Okay, now they're just saying... Um, somebody sends an emoji with the starry eyes. Starry eyes. Or you, either someone sends it or someone receives receives it. Okay, the starry eyes emoji. <laughs> That's bizarre. Okay. And you also have a black four-leaf clover. Okay. I don't know what that means. Usually four-leaf clovers. Um, is, do you feel like your luck is dried up? It's dead? Well, I don't feel like it is, but you might be feeling that way. Let me just get a couple more charms and see. I gave you one more. Oh, okay. And now you have a snowflake. Are you getting snow? Do you have snow where you are? We don't have any snow, but snow is coming. I will say that uh, if you think that the storms are over, the snowstorms are over, and this is for those of you that get snowstorms unless a miracle happens and you're in like hot Australia, which is, I believe, summer. Is it summer there now? Or fall? I don't know. I can't remember what season it is down south. But anyway, if you are in an area that is typically prone to snow, your message is snow is coming. And another thing, you guys, I posted on my Facebook, I think in 2022, that I made a prediction that King Charles was going to pass away within three years time. So, or maybe it was 2021, but I, or 2022, but I said by 2025. Now, granted, that's just me making some kind of prediction. And I heard today on the news that he um, had uh, some type of cancer or something. And, and, you know, I never wish that on anybody. Um, however, I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was bizarre. Because I know we've talked in the past where... I mentioned something about the queen and I'm like, oh no, is it going to happen again? So I don't know, but I'm just putting that out there and I'll, I'll post it. Um, 
the prediction that was made because if it happened i mean but then again it's the same thing like it's because of the date because i mean the guy's not exactly 25 so obviously sometimes we presume that people are gonna you know start falling off when they hit their 70s and 80s and up um not always the case however uh i just thought it was odd because it just came right out of the blue and i don't really follow the royal family I, I like to call them the royal hats i don't know what other name to call them so my mother's from europe so whenever we talk i'm like do you hear about the royal hats and she just laughs she's like it's the royal family and i'm like yeah but they're all a bunch of whatever anyway i'm rambling so i'm gonna leave that message there for you please please become a member of the channel it's only 2.99 it's a loyalty membership to show your support for my channel per month and yeah if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below i'm also doing text readings so you can just book a text reading ask me five questions and i will text you back with your five answers all right you guys i hope you have a wonderful night and i will see you all don't forget to subscribe and like on the way out and i will see you all back here tomorrow bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light-filled life thank you bye